And so we come to this third Digicel Pearls ODI between the West Indies and India here at the Sir Vivian Richards Stadium in Antigua. And opening the batting again today will be Lendell Simmons and Kirk Edwards. And Danza Hyatt, the young Jamaican, making his ODI debut today. has already played a couple of T20s for the West Indies. Pollard will be hoping to find some form. Vindra Bishu, the only specialist spinner today. The party Patel and Shikhar Dhawan to open the batting. Badrinath is the one who hasn't as yet got going. Suresh Raina has batted exceedingly well. Yusuf Patan has shown that he can tonk the ball. The bowling is in the hands of Amit Mishra, Praveen Kumar and Monaf Patel. Thank you very much, Sunil Gavaskar. Praveen Kumar it is. There he goes again. Big appeal. Indians are confident it hits the edge, and so is umpire Malcolm. And Edwards goes without scoring. So the first uh, run for the West Indies comes courtesy of a wide from Munaf Patel down the leg side. Nice deflection. Will head all the way for four, perhaps off the pad. He's got it over the infield, didn't quite come off the middle of the bat, but will go all the way for four. Short delivery and uh, put away by Simmons. He's gone high, he's gone long, he's gone six. Well, it's what we've been, we've gotten used to from Lendl Simmons. Very attacking, not afraid to hit the ball in the air. And what better time to do it now when the field is in. Completely mistimed the dive. Dived over the ball. Darwan it is and the batsman get two for it. Very fine. And the deflection which will go for four. He's been bowling quite wide of off stump before something now just hoisted it over mid wicket got under it he's barely been in good form Lendl Simmons more evidence of good running to end over number nine it's 35 for one now that's an area where they've got to improve he's miscued it somewhat but it's still gone all the way he was looking for the lofted drive and what a way to greet Amish Mishra. Getting out on the front foot, Ramnare Sarwan, and smashing it back over the bowler's head. Sarwan, he can uh, try and bowl a much fuller link because he's not looking to go over the top. Simmons on the other end is quite happy to go over the top. Found the gap. And this will go away for four. No wonder if he is right at home in the Caribbean as we see that overthrow. That's beautifully played. Over pitched and he was into the drive. The cover fielder had no chance. They've done the hard work. Oh, Salwan was very slow. Very, very slow and he's dropped his bat. The bat is dropped, the bales are off, Sarwan is nowhere in his ground and he's going to be given out, run out. Almost. And this is orthodox, regular seam, gets a little bit more bite. Well, he's not the first to go by way of that. Amit Mishra Googly, he's a beautiful bowler. Carlton Ball was tricked with that in the last match. Dan Zahaya didn't pick this either. What a wonderful bowler this little man is. One his score. It's 74 for four. Beauty. The big appeal for a catch of the wicket. And he's given him out. Markham's give him out in a rather unusual way. Again, that appeal from uh, pa Patel. Will he be called back? I'm not too sure. It's 85 for six. Could 
be off the pad here. They'll come for a second. Yes. Cody after it. Nice little deflection from Boer. Should get him two. And does. Now he's edged that. Fine delivery. He's getting movement. And uh, Sammy had no answer to it. Low catch by the keeper. So Sammy goes. And hit that into the gap. That has hit the gap quite nicely. And it will only be a fetch and throw it back job. Gone past the keeper. No one had slipped. Another good shot from Russell, which will bring him two. There's a man in the deep, so just a single. Slam that away. That's uh, the way he plays. Jamaican uh, champions uh, of the first class competition four years in a row here in the West Indies. And here he goes, gets under it, and that's gone a very long way. That's massive. And he's done it with the flourish, which is so typically Caribbean. He's moved his front foot out of the way and he's hit it with the turn. It's a massive hit. There he goes again, another huge one. That looks to be bigger. The 50 partnership coming with uh, that uh, six second consecutive six. <laughs> He's hit that hard and found the gap and gets four. Down he goes. They're in the power play, so only three fielders can be within the ring. They'll come back for a third. Long way out there. Ball goes aerial and he's going to be out. Caught at cover. Just a single, but it brings up his 50. And a well-deserved one for Andre Russell. struck that fiercely it wasn't in the air as we saw those two massive sixes but just as powerful will they look for two here or will they get four? Oh, that's a good piece of feeling oh went through him did it yes it did so, four more and the score goes on to 192. Still didn't get the impression that he middled it, but it's enough. That's hit hard. Six more to Andre Russell. The Stendis move on to 198. And a good catch by Ishan Sharma and well appreciated by his captain. Again. A powerful swing. That's gone too. That's gone even further. Up into the second tier of the stand. And the captain and all the West Indies fans have good reason to appreciate that. 200 comes up. In a flash, Andre Russell has gone from 50 from 50 to 73. Well, he's gone after that as well and hit it well. It's going to be four. 
wide mid wicket 22 off the over best by far for the West Indies 49 overs gone it's 210 for eight that's it full toss six and he hammered that too and that will be four more went flat dropped just inside the boundary 92 to andre russell and the west indies 225 for eight 92 in 64 deliveries from andre russell have pushed the west indies to 225 for eight Amit Mishra once again a handful for the West Indies, the leg spinner causing all sorts of problems. Here's Roach, first delivery. Very good save. First runs. Patel off the mark. They'll have to hurry here. Just to prod in the onside for day one's first run. With five massive sixes today. Shot through the offside, the first boundary. Very good shot indeed. And that's well played too. That'll be another four. So fours off consecutive balls for Patel, the ball just reaching the boundary. And taken. So Sami gets a wicket in his first over, the ball just carrying to Marlon Samuels of cover. The ball scooped up. 26 without loss. Dewan goes. Getting Dewan caught at cover. Virat Kohli who played so well. And they and he's given him leg before took him on the top of the pad, no bat involved. At first glance, it looked high to me. I think this is going to be missing, Tony. Missing leg and high, much talked about already. He's got that one away, not off the middle of the bat, but uh, I just carry to the boundary. Good work out there, but I wonder if it was in vain in the end. Top edged, but this will fall safe. Might go all the way. In fact, goes right onto the rope, which is six. Hold his wrist over, but this one climbed a little bit more than he anticipated. And you can see there was that top pitch. Well, the fielder was far too square. That's the uh, modern field placing. Pulls it away. That's going to go for another boundary to the pugnacious part of Patel to end over number 11. 42 for 2. Got to try and get the line right. Gives him the charge and smashes it away. Patel continues with his positive manner. Brings up the 50 as well for India. Back past the bowler. And he tries to break the shackles and he does so on this occasion. He does it successfully. He was in the air for a while as it passed Kirk Edwards at cover. That one was struck much better, but... Oh, that's out. That is a waste of a wicket. It's Andre Russell, is it? One skids off the surface to ball, and Badranath is a week away from the crease. He goes for 11, it's 60 for 3. Another man in a bit of form. Good strike rate. They don't look happy to just knock it around for singles. He's gone over the top. Looking to finish this as quickly as they can. 
Yeah, the key thing for in there and, and the key thing in the battle, though the runs, the run rate is a controllable run rate as far as the batting team is concerned. If they continue losing wickets at, at key intervals, then they could find themselves struggling towards the end. That's why there needs to be a consistency of this partnership. Another lofted shot, an authoritative shot from Rohit Sharma. Out, gone, another one goes. And that's what we're talking about, rustling the business again. Doesn't matter how quickly India continues scoring, they keep losing wickets. They're going to find themselves under pressure. 79 for four, rather, in the 19th over. Pollard. That is up in the air. That's what I was talking about. These million dollar shots that India have been playing today is bordering on overconfidence. Indians have uh, tended to gift their wickets. Yes, 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 yes! Oh, brilliant. What a catch. Lendl Simmons. Almost a Superman leap and hauled it down with his right hand and that's why west indies are on top 92 for six A remarkable catch has brought harbhajan singh in nice shot and could well go all the way just beating the fielder to the boundary flicked away bad direction from pollard in the air and through the hands of the short extra cover Anthony Martin the substitute fielder the West Indies have generally kept it up to Roy Sharma just ball a negative length and line 50 for Rohit Sharma his second of a series but he's still much work to do here for in there but at least he's shown a lot more composure again after looking a bit rushed early in his innings 23 could go for four it does very welcome boundary just easing past backward point That's a huge hit. That's a six, which makes an over which had cost two up until then. Now he's got the fingers to it and it's gone straight through Sammy there. It's not easy. That's not an easy catch, but still one we've seen taken. There he goes and that's a six slogged picked it up beautifully harbor chance now the accelerator is being pressed by india it's in the air ball calls for it the keeper and takes it and he's gone well that's the way to get rid of them talk them up say how wonderful they are but he has played an outstanding innings so i think uh, because the uh, issue has been the pick of the bowlers well bowled. I think it's a good move uh, by Darren Sun. He's gone straight and he's gone for six all the way. Kyron Pollard just watching it sail over his head into the seats below us. He has tossed up by delivery. And uh, look at that. Pravin Kumar has uh, just slammed it. Which will probably work in the short run. There he goes again, clearing mid off, running away out towards the boundary and getting there. Almost as if he were cutting sugar cane. Over the top again, that's gone all the way. India are closing in. He's just moved away to the uh, leg side a little bit. The ball's on a length. Just what batsmen are looking when they're going to go for the slog. And Praveen Kumar, well, he's trying to play a little bit of a Dhoni kind of helicopter shot, at least as far as the follow-through is concerned.
and that's four and that's India getting ever closer to this target now just six more needed an affluent off drive by Rohit Sharma he's just happy to get the single another productive over comes to an end we'll look for two they'll get it comfortably no ball swung away and uh, that's it winning the match with a bit of flourish as we anticipated india have taken the series they are three nil up two matches left to play and once again they have shown the stuff of champions So that's the match summary for you.